I'm going to show you how you can use the choose function to display your data in Excel. I have the sheet here where I have the region as north, uh, the month as May, and the sales as 9800. So if we change the region to, let's say, west, and you see the value of the sales has already changed, but let's 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 look for uh, let's look for February, and once again it has changed. So what we have here is I have three tables. I have the table uh, table one, and if you highlight that um, and you go to the design tab, you see that I have renamed the table as West. I have uh, this table, and if you go to the design tab for the table, you see that I have renamed this to East. And then I have the, the third one uh, named as North. Now, these tables could be anywhere in your workbook. They could be on separate sheets. They could be all, all sorts of places. You're basically just bringing up the table. So let me click on sheet two and I'll show you what the formula looks like that I've used here. And so I'm going, I went VLOOKUP and I'm looking up the value. And the value in this case is the month is what I'm looking up. Then I'm using the choose function as my, uh, my table for my, for my information. And so I go index and I'm going table one, table two, table three. Now it doesn't make any difference whether I've named these tables, which I have west, east, and north. I, I it's the first first table that appears, the second table appears, or the third table appears. And then when we've got that all figured out, we want the second column, which in these tables is the uh, is the sales value, and then the zero is to make to make this exact match. So here I'll show you how I did it. So I've deleted the, the formula here and let's start all over and write a new formula in to show you how it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and type in a VLOOKUP and then I'm going to do an opening bracket. And so what we're looking up is we are looking up the February or whatever, whatever month is contained in this cell here. Okay, and so then we put a comma and then we start our choose function. So it's choose and then we do an opening bracket. So what I'm choosing here is I'm choosing the number one and that corresponds to the tables that I'm selecting and it's the order that the tables exist. And so now I'm going to put a comma and now I'm going to type in the names of the tables that I've created. So I'm going to type in West and you can see it comes up when I start typing in West. We have the West there and I'm going to put a comma and then I'm going to type in East. And once again, the table comes up and then I'm going to put a comma and then I'm going to type in North. And there it is at the bottom, north comes up. Okay, so now um, I put a closing bracket here, and then I put a comma. And if you look at these tables here, it's the second column that we're looking for. Um, so this is the first column, this is the second column. So the what we're going to do is put in a two. Look, that should be a comma. And I'm going to put in a two because I'm looking for the second column. And then um, you can either put in the word false or you can put in a zero to indicate that you want an exact match. So I'm going to put in a zero and I'm going to close that bracket and I'm going to go enter. And there's my 5300. So now it has, uh, it has selected data from whichever table that you have, have indicated. So let's try this again and let's go uh, east. And let's go for um, for July, and there's the sales figure for the East for July. 
So these are the sales figures for the each East division for July. And uh, that's how you do it. So this is how you use the choose function to display your data in Excel. Please subscribe.